but here we are in Lesko Help too. Now, uh, I want to show you the links that I'm talking about uh, in the headline about the grants and stuff like that that are now for home repair and new appliances. And it, it's really a law that was passed like a year and a half or more ago, and they're finally getting the money out. So, and it's now, it's in about half the states. Uh, uh, half the states have the money to start giving out, and the other half will have them soon. Uh, and I put links here, um, and that you'll find later in YouTube, all these links is how to find out if your state has the money or not, and where to contact your state to find out how to get this money. And, and there's also an article there explaining the process. What is this, what's in this program, and, and all the stuff that's available in it. Uh, and, and it's all right there and describes and, uh, you know, you get X thousand for a new refrigerator, X thousand for a new stove, and all these kinds of things. You have to fix up your home. And also to weatherize your home and everything like that. It's part of the Inflation Reduction Act. So if you're familiar with that, remember about a year or two ago, <laughs> and finally getting the money for consumers. That's why, you know, poor Biden, <laughs> he does all these things and people don't even know he did them. <laughs> and it's the same with uh, 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 training money. There is so much training money. If you don't have a decent job, man, you got to go down to your uh, start with your local career one stop and see what kind of money is there uh, to train and then go to find help and find tr free training help there. There's so much grants out there that give you a living, ex pay for your living expenses while you're training, pay for daycare, transportation, all, all these kinds of things. Uh, your local community college is another one that have training for all kinds of programs. Don't go to Google and look for training. You're going to get people like me want to get money from you. <laughs> and you don't have to do that, please. Um, that's so important because it, it, I think creating something for yourself to create more income is a better way than finding a grant or some uh, scheme or, or, or whatever like that. And it's creating your own income, but you have to have the skills to do that. And so that's what's so great, I think, about what the government's doing now is that helping you get the skills for free, you know, helping you support yourself while you're doing it for free free. Um, boy, I mean, there's a program I talked about yesterday. Uh, they get 20, you, you make $27 an hour with no degree while you're getting the skills to make a hundred grand an hour. Now, what the hell could be better than that? You want to go get a college degree and spend a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> or do you want to make a hundred thousand dollars while you're getting a hundred thousand dollar job? You know, it, 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 it's just amazing. And, and see the stuff that's out there for free and, and, and that help people. It's not what we're used to using. It's not what we're used to uh, using because we're used to having people sell us stuff. And when people want to sell you something, man, they'll come and live with you. They'll do everything, shine your shoes or whatever to get your money. Right. Now, this is a different ball game when you're getting free money. They, they got, these people get free money, give out free money, get paid whether you ask for it or not. You know, it's not like a salesman. If, if they don't find you and, and beat you on the head to get money, to, to uh, know about their services or whatever, you know, they're not gonna get paid. So this is a whole new ball game you have to learn. People help you for free, don't get paid by you. You know, they've already been paid and they could help you for free or not. I mean, uh, the people that are now uh, helping others uh, you know, on, on, in our network, or whatever you call it, is our community. I don't know. We got all these euphemisms for for things that go on today. We got new words for stuff. It was the same old stuff, just new words for it. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the people that uh, it's so much fun to see how they've learned to to be nice to these people and and even make them laugh. And the more they do that, the more money they get. You know, there's a woman that. Um, uh, that helps you too. Uh, now we have a lot of people that are now helping other members uh, get through this process. They learned about it. So I think they're the best ones to teach you about it. So if you're a member, oh, there she is. Uh, Tammy's there. <laughs> uh, and she's 
you know, uh, the epitome of this. I mean, Tammy is a member. Uh, she helps other members all the time. And, and see, and, and she's gotten so much goddamn money. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't know anybody. She doesn't know an insider or have a lot of money herself. No, you're playing these programs. It means you don't have a lot of money. And that's what uh, upsets me is that people who use these programs are usually the people who have a lot of money. They don't even need them. Actually, that's how I learned about this. I was helping millionaires become billionaires uh, with government programs. And that just was boring as hell because they don't even need that goddamn money. And But that taught me about the programs. I said, hey, how can I help the average person on the street? I grew up in Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Nobody knew about these programs. To me, the government was the post office, the IRS, <laughs> and the division of motor vehicles, <laughs> and the cops who caught me drinking underage. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that's I didn't know about this stuff and, and that's why it, it's so important for me in my life and, and it's only important because I see it helping people I mean ever and ever you look at the uh, responses on, on, on this stuff that people have gotten so much sure everyone doesn't get it there's no guarantee you're going to get it I, I can't guarantee anybody anything all I can guarantee is that you won't get it if you don't try <laughs> that's a given because nobody's going to come and knock on your door and plead with you to apply to these programs. No, you have to take it. It's like getting a job or anything else. And, and like getting a job, you just don't go to one place and ask for a grant. No, they don't have any. Okay, I'll come back when you got some more. You don't do that with a job, right? You go knock on the door and they say, oh, no job today. And, and, and you know, if you really want a job, you go to the next one. You really want it. And, and they say no. And then you go to the next one. That's what life is. You know, and, and we're spoiled because Google spoils us, I think, because everything in Google is people, hey, give me money and it'll show you how easy life is. Fuck no. <laughs> life ain't easy. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so get over it, man, because you're not going to do anything if you don't. Yeah, realize that. And then we're just inundated with things about how easy life is and the magic. There's no magic. The magic is in you. We're all magical in some different way. And you got to bring that out of you. And this is me inside. <laughs> I was trying to be like everybody else. I got an MBA and all, all my businesses were failing. <laughs> and then I said, wow, uh, uh, I remember you from my youth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem living so long. <laughs> People, and they never bought anything when they're young. <laughs> uh, but it, it's finding out what's neat about you. And you only do that by failing a lot. You know, when you're trying things and going out and try that and they'll fail. Go out and try something else. <laughs> That's life. You don't learn something new by just, you know, reading a book and going out and doing it. And, and it's going to work perfectly. No. I turned 53 this year, and I, I bought your book back then. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm 80, <laughs> so you know, you're almost 30 years behind me. You'll get there. <laughs> and I think the key is trying to have fun doing it, you know, because life is going to beat you up no matter what happens. You know, that's, that's the life's job, because <laughs> that's, I think, the only way it could teach you. <laughs> <laughs> it won't teach you anything if you don't get beat up, right? That's how you learn. And so you got to get out there, screw up, and then pick your ass up and try it again. You know, uh, <laughs> there's no shortcut to that. <laughs> it would like to be, and all the hucksters on uh, you know, uh, YouTube will tell you there's all these short. Oh, if you just know these seven secrets, and <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> the secret is it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> and you're gonna have to work to do it. You know, sure, a few good people get lucky, and they're the people I used to put on my infomercials. <laughs> so they can say, Yeah, I just made one phone call, I got a twenty thousand dollars in the mail. Yeah. And yeah, sure, you can find anything. I mean, remember those shows, Phil Donahue and all these kind of stuff? <laughs> they have all these weird people that married a kangaroo or something. <laughs> you can always find somebody like that. Uh, and uh, uh, I, that, the like button, <laughs> I, I'm number one. The like button is just a contest. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and subscribe. Maybe I don't ask people to subscribe on YouTube, but uh, to keep up on our stuff. And, and on YouTube, I, I put the links. I mean, you don't have to me twenty dollars but if you want uh it, it's lesgo uh help.com uh and 
uh, I never, everybody told me I'll never make money charging $20. Well, we're making so much money and we're a small little company, just a handful of people, uh, that we give almost half our money back to members. So this month we gave $95,000 back to members. You know, 95, I never thought, that is so far a dream in my mind. I'm a kid from Wilkesboro who, <laughs> who flunked out of so many schools. <laughs> I was just bored, <laughs> as rather boils down. And, and, and you know, barely got through college. Uh, I was on and off probation every semester or whatever. And, and, and to be in a position where I could give $95,000 a month. Now, next month is going to only be 75. It was a special month because of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is very special for me. It's when my wife and I feel we conceived our first child. <laughs> so that was sort of always been our, our anniversary kind of thing. Uh, hello, good morning. Love your spirit. Thank you, Amy. Uh, uh, Megan, I want to be like you when I grow up. I'm 42. Well, you are, you know, and that's it. And, and, and just, oh, oh God, if, if there's... Mad, if, uh, listen to your heart. Your heart is smarter than your brain, you know, and, and that's a thing. We, I mean, sure, you get information and see what the downside is or something. I mean, that's not stupid, uh, but don't let that control you because what really makes you, I used to wear question mark suits because I used to think if you got the right information, you would make the right decisions. Now, I don't believe that as much anymore because I, I believe the most important thing is your heart. You know, because if your heart is not there, you're not going to make it happen. We can make things happen. Look at all the great things that happened in our country is that everybody said that we're wrong. <laughs> Christopher Columbus <laughs> said that world was round, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he proved it, you know, and got in a ship and showed everybody. And, you know, Galileo, the same thing, and they put him in jail because, you know, you got to follow your heart, you know, and, and that's the important thing. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be right, but you'll learn more if you follow your heart. If, you try, if you're following somebody else's idea and stuff like that, and then it doesn't work, you just say, ah, oh, that guy was an asshole, I knew he was. <laughs> and that's why it didn't work, and you blame them instead of you, and that's why you have to grow you. And the only way to grow you is to make a, a decent decision, whatever it is, and you can't find a perfect decision. That's another thing. I used to walk down the street when I was, I can't think of a million dollar decision. Can't think of a million dollar decision. What? Can't think of, uh, and then I realized, oh God, you know, because it wasn't perfect. I said, nobody buys perfect. You know, look at the stuff you buy. It's not perfect, it's junk. There's so many flaws. We have such high standards of what we're going to, um, uh, we think we have to sell when everybody else is selling shit out there. <laughs> and you, you'll never get around to doing it because you can't make it perfect. <laughs> so just go out and try, you know, and you'll see. <laughs> and you just keep trying. They'll tell you if it's good or bad. Your friends, they think, are also your worst enemy because they don't want to see you hurt. Don't do that. You're going to fail. You know, it's easy to say that, of course. And so what you say is, yeah, you're right, I am. But that's the way I'm going to learn. <laughs> i got to go out and fail. Uh, check with the health manager. If your state says funds awarded, yes, E-T, you got it. Does that mean the state has the funds to now distribute? You got it, baby. <laughs> that's what it is. That's why I give you this list. See how powerful information is. And see, I mean, that's public information. Anybody can get this shit. Everything I do, that's why I'm... Uh, uh, my first New York Times bestseller was with something I plagiarized. <laughs> I copied from the government printing office because nothing in the government is copyrighted. So you can take anything in the government and, and sell it for as much as you can get. You know, and, and that's what's neat. America is so incredible about all this stuff. <laughs> Look, a guy like Trump could do all this stuff and hardly ever get caught. <laughs> and he'll live again and probably have a very successful life. I mean, it's a forgiving <laughs> life, is forgiving. But you have to try stuff. You know, you have to get out there and do things. Um, and even if it's a small little way because you build and then that, that's you go. You can't go out and play the majors, you know, with just reading a book. No, you go out and play some sandlot uh, baseball or whatever and see what this is about. And, 
and grow from there to see what your talents are or to see a better opportunity. You know, uh, that's what I worry about being 80 is, is that, uh, uh, you know, and with success of, you know, I mean, I'm not big, but big for me, <laughs> but in the scheme of things where people making enough money to build a rocket ship to this Mars, <laughs> you know, me giving out $95,000, that's pocket change to these people, you know, uh, but it's important to me. And what I see too, Five hundred or a thousand dollars we give to people is important to their lives, and that's that's all we can ask to do. I think in life is somehow be important to somebody else, uh, and that to me at least it opens my heart. If I'm helping somebody or giving to somebody, that makes my heart bigger, and, and that's I feel is the only thing I have left now at eighty years old to grow. I could grow my heart. I can't run faster. I do six miles every day, but I'm down to walking. <laughs> I don't want to run anymore. <laughs> or muscles, or, or even uh, uh, my brain power. You know, I forget so many goddamn names. <laughs> they keep falling out of the back of my head. I keep looking up in the back of the chair here to see where all that stuff I thought I knew. <laughs> I can't bring it up. Uh, good morning, just joined up. I remember your books and commercials from way back when. Yes, the way back machine. <laughs> that, that was me. And even that uh, little bit of success I had, that's way beyond my uh, comprehension that would happen to me. And two New York Times bestsellers for a kid who flunked English? <sighs> yeah, I don't wanna show those nuns they were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's what, so now this is even more gratifying than anything else I've ever done in life because I see people uh, that uh, have tried this and how much it changed their life. Again, I can't guarantee it will for anybody. Uh, and, and that's not there. I don't give out the money. I give out my money so I know how much money, you know, next month I'll give out another $75,000 because we still have it. As long as we have it, we're going to give it out. Yeah, because... I don't want a yacht. I don't want all that crap to worry about. <laughs> I have to take care of it. Man, I want to grow my heart. And I feel helping people is a way to grow. They say you're 80 years old and you'll be 81 in May. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll be 81 in May 11. Uh, yeah, but it, it doesn't. I don't. I feel better now than ever before and, and more rewarding. It, it, it's. it's members that make me that it's you people that I see that it, it helps so uh, if if something I have has any chance of helping somebody else I I feel that's a moral obligation uh, to do that as much as I can and I feel I may have 10 15 more years maybe maybe who the hell knows yeah get hit by a goddamn bus tomorrow <laughs> so we don't know uh, uh, check the home energy program. And yes, that's right, ET. Uh, it's all public information. Uh, and, and contact your State Department of Energy. Um, and I have the link there too. Uh, so you contact them and get on their mailing list or whatever. So you know exactly when they're right now checks. Uh, so you get some of that money before it goes away. Because all these things are one at time, one offs. You know, they're not forever. It's not like Social Security put in lines forever. These are programs at one time, money's gone, it's gone, baby. So that's why people, I want to know all the programs. Programs change every day. You can't do that. And so what we do, you do, is I would like to talk to you about reopening the library in town. I'm hitting brick walls. Yes, Megan, okay, I mean, that's great. Well, I mean, there's a thousand ways to do something like that. You have to think of ideas. Make sure that you talk to every local official. So you have, if you go, uh, Megan, if you go to uh, uh, commoncause.org, go to commoncause.org, put in your zip code, okay? And, and what to do is then get a list of all your elected officials. Okay, so maybe there's 12. You just go to the, from the top, you go to the, call their local offices and talk, make an appointment to talk to somebody uh, about the library. And don't give a lot of details on the phone. You just want to talk to them. Uh, you want to do something to the library and need their help. So you'd like to talk to them, make an appointment, you know, uh, and, and see what their, uh, what their suggestions are. They're the ones that know how to even see what your congressman could do is get a law passed 
to get you the new library, okay? See, that's, I forget what the name is, the name I used to know, but that's one of those that fell out back here. <laughs> it's like a set aside or whatever. They could just pass a law. And congressmen do this for you. You pass this one, and I'll pass one for yours. So, And it's for constituents. And you're a constituent, so they could do that. And this is a very good cause. So if they do something like this for you, the whole community will see it, and they'll know that this elected official helped you get that money, and they have something to talk about when they go get elected again. This is how these people stay in office forever. They do favors for earmark. That's it, Megan. Wow, you're ahead of me. You don't need me. Quit paying me money. <laughs> Go out and do this stuff. <laughs> yes, earmark. They went away for a while, and now they're back. Uh, if, if you're awarded a grant in most states and the grant comes back any other year, are people permitted to apply? The real answer, it depends on the grant. <laughs> don't worry about that until it comes back and then see what the rules are. I mean, the, 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 there's hundreds of thousands and thousands of millions of grants. Everyone has different rules and requirements and they're set up by, you, you can't say anything. Just forget about it. You're looking for something now, <laughs> worry about tomorrow, when you're looking for something tomorrow and see what the requ requirements are. Uh, otherwise you're just spinning wheels, yeah, uh, because something you have no control over. Hey, I started up that route already. Hopefully I'll plan. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll plan it out. Great. No, that's a good thing. And then other things is, uh, other ways will come to my mind, Megan, is because it's a community project, crowdfunding would be a good, you know, could work because local media would promote. The pr problem with crowdfunding is that you have to wait to let people know you have a crowdfunding site. Most people put on a, a site on one of these crowdfunding, you know, uh, Facebook or you, uh, wh whoever, whatever, not Facebook, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, um, GoFundMe and stuff like that, and think people just throw money at you. No, you have to have an interesting idea and a way to attract people to see your site, okay? Yeah, it started that route already, but I'm kind of think. Uh, I actually, that actually might work if I can get uh, Bakersfield. Uh, I'm not sure what is that where you live Bakersfield is that California uh -huh. yeah well you had a hip uh, the, the, the Bakersfield isn't that where they started uh, uh, guaranteed income the mayor you had um, or is that Bakersfield uh, yeah and, and he's a superstar now in that, and that's happening all over the country now because of Bakersfield uh, and, and that's um, uh, very important uh, but the help is out there, and, and you know that's why I hope. Uh, Megan, have you gotten any money before? You want to you want to be a oh, uh, a let's go help lover <laughs> and try to love other members and help them with anything you have in your head and uh, point or or just uh, encouragement. Uh, if you got through the process and got grants from us or anybody else, it'd be great if people knew more people were available live to just to answer a question. Uh, she has her own class. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. So she's doing it already, Tammy? That's great, see? What do I know? I just run the place. I don't know what the hell is really going on. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> what does L-M-A-O mean? <laughs> see, you got a dinosaur here, not too hip. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just joined your membership, so happy you found your guru. Uh, you are a kind soul. Laughing my butt. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, good. <laughs> Makes sense. See, that's the problem. I walk down the street, and there are all kind of new names that people want to call me because of my dress. And, uh, oh, what are some of the um, uh, clean? Or, uh, Oh, I mean, fly, I think, is a new one. I keep, hey, you're fly, or uh, all these new names. I have fly, and, and goat was a, wait a minute, what, 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 am I an old goat? <laughs> now that I can imagine, yeah. People, you know, at my age, it's accepted to be called an old goat. But goat means greatest something or whatever it is, which is, you know, very uh, sweet to, to hear. And I appreciate every second of something like that. But... Uh, 
I hate to wallow in it because of uh, goat. <laughs> right. Now, see, at my age, somebody called me a goat. Uh, well, I think that's a, a compliment. No. <laughs> I think it's, call me a fucking old goat. Get out of the way. <laughs> <It's lovely. laughs> Thank you, Joy. It's fun. I mean, it's a key in life. Life's going to beat you up no matter what anyway. And, and so if you don't have fun, and that's right to me, I'm a man, I'm throwing my own party. You want to come? Fine. <laughs> and I'm not going to wait for anybody to throw me a party because <laughs> I don't want to wait to have fun. I'm going to have fun today. Uh, and you can because you have control of what the hell you do every day. And whether it's accepted or not, a lot of stuff won't be. I've written 100 books and only 10 made money. So I know I'm wrong 90% of the time. But if you find something you want to do, then you'll get through that. Say, if you find something, ah, oh, somebody said you make a lot of money and I'll try that. And then you just keep trying stuff um, that, you know, probably won't work uh, until something comes from your heart. But it's good to do that if you have nothing better to do. You just take your best option in front of you and try it and, and stop as soon as it's bad. <laughs> I just got your post for a home energy rebate from Texas shows nothing. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> or if you call your elected official to see when it may come. Uh, and they'll go investigate for you at the state uh, level. No, there's only about half the states that have money now. Uh, I just say, yeah. So it means it is coming. <laughs> it is coming. Uh, any other questions? I have nah, so much stuff to do. Business has been very good. I want to thank you. Something happened uh, somewhere in YouTube. We're getting a lot more views than ever. Uh, and the Valentine grant seemed to be very popular. Uh, and I don't know why, but sometimes I have to play business person, which I hate. <laughs> I, don't, I just let people do whatever the hell they want to do. I mean, people, you know, that help like Tammy. I, I don't tell Tammy what to do. Yeah. Tammy just helps people. That's what it is. And if you, otherwise you sound like Comcast, you know, reading a script or something. Nah, I, I want humans to help humans. You know, I don't want, uh, you know, anybody that has to, you know, read a script or no, whatever. No, you need help with something. You want to help more then we'll help you find out more to give, but no, be kind. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good site, Megan. Yeah. That's been around for a long time. The first energy problem we had with Jimmy Carter that started. <laughs> I find you on YouTube in November. Ah, oh, surely. Yeah, I've been on YouTube seven, eight years or something like that. Hey, Virginia, I'll see you. I can't find it otherwise. Uh, message Tammy, she's a wizard. Yes, she is, Marcus, and she, you found that. Virginia here, click this site out too. Uh, yeah, what is that? Oh yeah, there, yeah. That, that's that's good. And that probably will have them as they come in. Uh, but you can get ahead of the curve going right to the office who has it. We know they're going to get it because they already passed a law, you know, to do that. So that's why we know we're going to do that. And they know they're going to get it. Uh, so getting on the inside at that office in your state is... You know, best and you probably have a mailing list to notify people when it's available. I have bought your book for a year. <laughs> yeah, no more books. I bought one of your books 25 years ago. Yeah, well, 1980 was the first book I came out. And I finally, I had two, three businesses that failed. And I had a consulting firm in Washington and started publishing you know, like trade books just for clients. And uh, then I had that one commercial book, which I thought, you know, me doing a book on New York, that's like being on Mars. I, I flunked English in college. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that was very, and then being on talk shows with that book, because I figured the thing, how do you get customers to know about it? And the publishers don't market it. In fact, you're a nobody, if you're a somebody, but how do you become a somebody? Well, the media does that for you. And the media is free. Right? And so you have to learn how to get the media to talk about you and you just can't be a normal person. <laughs> right, Mr. Trump? The camera follows him no matter where the hell he is. Yeah. Because he acts like an idiot like me, you yeah. know. And me getting on Oprah and Larry King and all these kinds of things. I was a regular on that. I was a regular guest because it's all about entertainment, unfortunately. 
but that's the system. It's, it, it's understanding the system and figuring out how to use it with the skills you have. You know, uh, you're cool, bro. Well, thank you, Rick. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I've been out of work for a year. Wow, for working. Well, do something. You can make money, uh, you know, in, in uh, with gigs at home, on the computer, whatever. Even if you work 20 minutes a day, you can earn income. Uh, if you remember, we have a report on all that stuff, but it's the gig economy. If you go to <coughs> um, gig.indeed.com uh, and, and, and see... Uh, what programs are available in any of you? You know, the, the, there's just too much ways to make it. You're not going to be a millionaire, but hey, get get some pocket change or whatever. Do something. Make an appointment with your local uh, career one stop center. Career one stop center dot org. Career one stop center dot org. Uh, make um, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, and. Uh, Make an appointment. You talk to people to get help. You don't look at websites. You find the website and some, find somebody to talk to on that website to get help. And you find nonprofit organizations and government offices that get paid to help you for free. Because if you go to Google and find people trying to help, they, they're going to charge you money because they got to pay Google. <laughs> Simple as that. So they're all .com. So if you're looking for something, I'm open educational facility right at I I seventy or you are seventy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wonderful, Darlene. Uh, uh, happy birthday. Who's we? Oh, oh, we whiz. <laughs> Who took a whiz? Oh, today's my birthday. We whiz. Oh, I see. I got it now. Had to put that puzzle together a little bit. Okay, guys. Let me um, go and uh, do some other stuff for a little bit. <laughs> okay. And tell you I love you all for what you uh, allowed me to do and to show uh, appreciation for it by subscribing. And that, that's why we give money back that we don't need to support ourselves. And um, that looks like it's going to grow again soon. So, um, and thank you for, if we're not able to help you instantly for everything for $20, it's hard. <laughs> I used to do like that, and, you know, when I charged 20000 uh, But for 20 that's why, you know, people like Tammy and other people that that, um, uh, that help uh, on Lesco Help too are, I, I think, the future. Uh, because people helping people, and people like Tammy and the others that, that really, you know, are just a couple months ahead of you in how they learn. So they could bring you up faster than I can ever do that. Uh, because I, it's hard to remember what it was 50 years ago when I was first learning this stuff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Tammy isn't burdened with all that. I don't have a computer, sir. How the hell are you watching this? <laughs> you don't have a computer. Yes, we give away 25 free computers every month. But right now, you also check, go to uh, findhelp.org and put in computers, you'll find nonprofit organizations that give away free computers in your community because people, you can't really survive very well without uh, a laptop because it just makes it, people, members have done it. Members have applied applications, got fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 doing it. But it's a lot easier if you have a laptop. I remember you from 30 years ago and liked you. Well, thank you. Uh, Richard, it's tough in Virginia. I like the effort. It, it's, it's tough everywhere. I mean, certainly various degrees. In the smaller communities, there'll be less. Uh, but smaller communities, you could, <laughs> there's, uh, you know, there may be only, you know, 12 places, possibilities to pay rent. In Washington, D.C., we, we have uh, 80 of them, you know. So, yes, it's, it's there. What is your profession? Me? I don't know. <laughs> trying to stay alive. Uh, I just want to thank you for your assistance. I have an appointment with SBDC. Great. Oh, that's wonderful, Diane. Okay, now when you go, and now if that doesn't work for you, then you find another one, okay? If not the SBDC locally, if you go to uh, um, uh, sba.gov slash local assistance, you'll find other local nonprofits that help you start a business, okay? Because it's all about, you know, everybody has different ideas and different 
uh, things to do and whatever. Um, and so it's important that if you go to somewhere and they can't help you, that you don't stop there. And then go to meetup.org, M-E-E-T-U-P.com, I'm saying, not org. And that's a dot com, but it's free. You meet up with other people like you that are trying to find help to start their businesses. And that's another great way to do it, okay? Are you a scientist? No, I, cut I study computer science. I got a master's in that. I... I I ran computers. I taught computer science in college back in the 70s when the computer was as big as this room. <laughs> Things have changed. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to put the links uh, in the, uh, YouTube. Uh, give me a few minutes to uh, and close all these things and get the links over there to you, okay? Love you so. Thank you.